Hey folks, it's Wednesday. We're gonna get through Wednesday and hit the weekend soon. I like getting over Wednesdays. It's my least favorite day of the week, but we're gonna make it. And uh, this devotional hopefully will help you. The title of it is called Not Enough. This is from a series of devotionals I've called Power Minutes. You can check out and subscribe to them at livingwithpower.org slash power minute. Uh, John 6, 7 says, Philip answered him, 200 denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. Hey, what's in your life that feels like it's just not enough? Are you looking at your savings and are certain that you won't have enough to take the next step of faith towards your calling? Is it your love life that simply feels like it's not enough? Or perhaps it's your own talents and abilities. No matter how hard you've tried, you always feel short, unable to fill the gap between uh, what you've been called to, to fill and where you are now. In John 6 verse 7, the disciples had a problem. There was a crowd who was hungry and needed to eat. The disciples looked at all they had and recognized that they did not have enough. Yet it was out of their desperate need that Jesus stepped in with a miracle. God always starts with impossible. If you're looking at your life and are convinced that you don't have what it takes, you're in the perfect place to see that God is more than enough for you're not enough. Give him what's in your hands and let him do the rest. He creates life out of what's dead and takes what looks impossible and makes it even more than possible. I've always been encouraged by the story of the feeding of the 5,000 and later the 7,000. And in both times, the disciples were like, I don't know what's going to happen. And yet they should have known because they saw him feed the 5,000. So they should have known when they were in trouble again. But that's so much like us. We see God deliver and we forget so easily. But let's not be people that forget. Let's give him what's in our hands. And whether it's a financial need as we hit the holidays, a relational need as we feel lonely in the holidays, uh, the ministry need, a life need, a work need, whatever it is, would you... Tell God, here's all I have. Would you use it uh, to bring your son glory? And I promise you, he will. He's done it before and he's the same God yesterday, today, forever. He'll do it again. I'm going to pray for you that God will provide for you above what you can think or imagine. And we'll be back again together tomorrow. In the meantime, check out livingwithpower.org. Plenty of stuff there for you to enjoy. Check out what we're doing globally and rejoice with us over uh, the partnership that God has given us to, to, to work in his kingdom and see lives affected with hope. All right, take care. Have a good day.